Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Martin, the Associate Director of Forecasting at Dodge Construction Network, and today we will be looking at February's Momentum Index. As a reminder, the DMI tracks the value of non-residential building projects going into planning, and that typically leads construction spending by about 12 months. The Momentum Index pulled back 1.4% in February to a reading of 180.5. We saw the commercial side fall 2.3%, and the institutional side inch up 0.1%. We did see weaker office planning, and that really pulled down the commercial portion of the index in February. On the institutional side, we did see slower momentum in healthcare and amusement planning, but that was mostly offset by growth in education planning, again, keeping this portion basically flat in February. So here's a breakout of each segment of the index. We have commercial on the left and institutional on the right. Year over year, the entire DMI is sitting about 1% higher than in February of 2023. The commercial segment, however, is down 10% from year ago levels. Throughout 2023, we did see weaker office and warehouse planning, and that drove this side of the index to fall more substantially. Most of that deceleration happened in the beginning of 2023, and then we kind of just saw flat to negative, slightly negative growth throughout the rest of the year. But it has been stabilizing, and it's been doing so at sort of a historically high level. So that's good news for construction spending in early 2025. The institutional segment was up 27% from February of last year, bolstered by stronger planning and publicly funded projects. As we continue to move throughout 2024, this portion of the index will likely stabilize as well. It'll show less robust growth, but again, it will hover around that historically high level. Now, when we zoom back out and put those two pieces back together, I like to compare the index not to just one year ago, but two years ago, and see that it's still sitting 25% higher than where it was in February of 2022. Even though we're seeing that negative growth this year, sorry, this month, uh, Dodge remains optimistic that the DMI will remain elevated throughout 2024, alongside rising confidence in where market conditions will be in 2025. More so, there's probably some upside potential to the back half of 2024 as the Fed begins to slowly peel back those high interest rates, uh, lending standards loosen a bit, um, and then kind of allow for more commercial planning activity to accelerate again in the back half of 2024. That's all I have for you today. That about wraps it up. So thank you so much for watching.